guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with the lovely Rachel. Hello, thank you um, for having me. Oh, you're welcome. Oh, I like um, being here. <laughs> today we have the Melbourne YouTube meetup. It is, what, the 4th of July? Yep. And we're really excited, so we're just getting ready for the meetup. We're actually really running late, so yeah. gotta go. Gotta but go. Anyway, um, stay tuned if you wanna see us get ready. Bye. Let's get started. Let's start this. Okay, so first up, I'm gonna prime my face with my Benefit Primer. This is a poor professional. What one are you using? Uh, face of Australia High Definition Primer. Love it. They're both quite similar, I think. Yeah. Ooh, hello. <laughs> Got a bit excited though. <laughs> I don't have a mirror. Neither do I. <laughs> it's hard without a mirror. It always makes your fingers feel so soft and smooth. <laughs> so I'm gonna put some liquid illuminator on. Um, Sounds good. This before my foundation. I'm gonna start with my foundation. I'm using my Napoleon stick. It may be a little bit off in color, so we'll see. But it's really thick and quite dark. Like, really dark. <laughs> that's yeah, right. but it matches your fake tan. Yeah, my chest is pretty dark. Once it blends out, it's all good. Just like painting my face. I'm gonna go, I'm done now. <laughs> I'm finished. I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear, the waterproof uh, foundation in NC35. So we're excited today because it is the Melbourne YouTube meetup. It is. Which is exciting. In a couple of hours. Come from all over to meet some other YouTubers and meet a whole bunch of you. Those are awesome. It's pretty cool that we can all like get together and I do know. this. It's so cool. Hey, now I feel like less of a clown. It's all blended out, I'm pretty sure. No, once it's blended out, it matches pretty well. Now that's pretty good. It just goes on really dark and it's like, whoa. I always put a little bit extra across my cheeks and my nose though for like extra coverage because I like to make sure that I've got really good coverage in those areas. I always put a little bit extra yeah, on. Yeah, I do too. Feels like we're just like old friends. Like, I know. It's so, it's so weird because we never see each other. Well, this is the second time this year. Which is pretty good. Yeah. I don't know how often we saw each other last year. I, don't, I think we saw each other once, once last year, which yeah. is at the start of 2014. I, I travelled last year a lot. You did too. You went to Europe, didn't you? Yeah. Yeah. It's good though, like being able to see more of each other. I wish we lived closer. I know, me too. I feel like my foundation has good coverage. Yeah, that's good. That has really good coverage. It's so thick, but it's actually not so bad to blend out. Guys, it's like raining so bad today. Yeah. Hence the waterproof foundation for me. Yeah. Using my Urban Decay Naked Concealer. This stuff is just the best. Like, it's so good. I've almost used it. This has taken me about two months to use. Oh my gosh. Like, every day? Oh, every day. Every day. <laughs> so. See, I have about like eight concealers on the go. Yeah. So I make them like drag out. No, this has been about two months every single day, pretty much. Or at least every day that I've worn makeup. But I love it because look at how light that is. Yeah. It's just such a nice concealer. Have you used the NARS one? No, I haven't. I love that. That one's my fave. I do have that one. I got it in a... Oh, no, we didn't turn the heater off. Will it really catch up the noise? Yeah. I got some of that <laughs> <laughs> in a... Um, friend um, from work went to Hawaii and I put that on my list. and So I have it, but I haven't used it yet. Oh, that's cool. I'm excited to use it because I've heard good things about yeah. it. Well, I'm all highlighted and I use two foundation brushes. I really should use a beauty blender. But I use one for foundation and then another one to blend out my highlight. I use two concealers, so. Using the Neutrogena Healthy Skin Brightening Eye Perfecto. Ooh, hello. I love when you do concealer under the eyes and it just makes everything bright. Yeah. Just one of my favorite things. I feel kind of highlighted. I hope I'm highlighted. Yeah, you're highlighted. Good. You know what drives me crazy? Cody's natural highlighting on his face. It's just natural and I'm like, I wish I could look like that naturally. <laughs> just has this glow on his nose and his cheeks that I'm Aww. like, oh. You are gonna get done so much before me. I know, I'm really quick. <laughs> I'm just like, whew, power on. Nah, I take my time with my eyebrows and my eyeshadow. For setting my under eye area, I'm using my uh, Rimmel Stay Matte Translucent Powder and this like Real Techniques brush that I got the other day that I really like. Yeah, I use that for highlighter, but it, I would like another one for... It's really good. Now it's a Radiant Creamy Conceal underneath my eyes as well. 
this one's running out and I'm like trying so hard not to, so it makes me so sad. Then to set the rest of my face, I'm using the Australis Fresh and Flawless Pressed Powder in Darkest Brown. Does anyone find with the new packaging of the Australis that the lid breaks? The lid like pops out. Have I got one here? Yeah, this one. Yeah. Like this lid bit pops out. Right. Yours is okay. Oh, yeah, it's uh, it's there. there. Two, the last two of mine have broken and I can't take them anywhere otherwise foundation goes everywhere. And it's frustrating because I'm like, I need to take this out with me at night time yeah. or somewhere where I need to touch up my makeup. I'm going to take the Bow Translucent Powder. This is Bow Professional. And I'm going to do some baking today. Sounds good. That's the baking. Is that what I just did with mine? Like I just set it with translucent powder? Nah, this is baking. I'll show you. Oh, when you like hack it on. <laughs> baking this mat. Oh, wow. But it's got to be like loose powder to bake. Yeah. You can't do it with pressed powder? Yeah. That's so, crazy. I know, it looks so crazy. They say it works better, best with like a sponge or like those, you know, those makeup wedge things. Oh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, because I've kind of gone like weird. Yeah, but yeah, you just let it sit there. You can feel like it soak up the like concealer and like the, everything on your skin. You can feel it drying. And I'm going to use the Australis uh, Fresh and Flawless to set the rest of my face. Digging around the edges. Oh, there's a... So I'm going to do some contouring with my Benefit Cooler and this brush. This is really cool. This is from MUA. How cool is that? Ooh, that's stiff. Yeah. Does it work well? Yeah, because I can just put it in like a really thick line and then go back and blend oh. it out. And it's like really more precise. So then I can go like this. It's really thick. Yeah. And just blend it all out. Oh, okay. I think I have like powder in my hair. <laughs> I do. Yeah, that's gone. <laughs> Cooler and my NARS eye Oh, this mirror is a dodgy ass. Yeah, those, those ones are so little. I am going to use some blush. My favorite blush at the moment is my MUA Cupcake. It's like a... Ooh, I have Lolly. They're similar, they're really similar. Lolly's like, a bit more... Like, um, peachy? Yeah. Like, yeah. Pinky and peachy. Yeah, they're very similar. Very similar. I like it though. Like, that's one of my favorite blushes. And they're nice blushes to use. Yeah. So, this one's been my favorite at the moment. It's just like a... It goes with everything. Yeah. It's not bad stuff. It's like, they're only a dollar over there. Or a pound, I should say. Oh. I, I was thinking the other day, you know how, like, we used to do, like... $20 makeup challenges. Mm. And we used to just get all the stuff from, like, I Kate House or whatever. Yep. Now we could actually do a $20 makeup challenge because there's a lot of like competitive like Essence and Bow Beauty. Yeah, yeah, affordable and that EXO Beauty from Kmart. Oh yeah. Um, and now we have Elf as well. Like there's a lot of affordable like, yeah, we beauty can... in Australia now, which is so good. Yes, actually go out and uh, do it. So for highlight, I'm using the one that I'm using the mirror for. This is called The Secret. It's a marbling highlighter from the Vanilla Co. Ooh. This is a Korean brand. That's so awesome. It's really shiny and it's nice. Um, and I'm obsessed with highlighting at the moment. I'm gonna use my Tarte um, Amazonian Clay Blush in Exposed, if I can get it open. That's what it looks like, it's very neutral. I didn't bring a blush brush, so I'm just using this um, Jessup brush. I love it. I was wearing this when I went to Sydney the other week and just everyone kept complimenting me on my highlight. Oh really? Yeah. It was just, I don't know. It hits the, the light hits it very nicely. So. Well, light won't be hitting it today because there is no sunlight. No. Sorry. No. Sorry to break into you. <laughs> None um, of us will have highlight on fleek because there's no sun. Do I go with my Lorac Pro palette or the new nudes palette and go like nudie colours? What are you wearing? Oh, grey probably. <laughs> grey. <laughs> if anyone's watching this and they watch me, they know that I wear grey like there's no tomorrow. Easy Max Soft and Gentle for my highlight today. Like I really like this palette from Maybelline, but I don't know if I want to go bronzies and all that colour. Yeah, no, I'm going to go bronzies and all that colour. I'm going to try the Maybelline one. We'll see how it goes. I'll just go with like a matte nudie colour all over first. Just going to spray some MAC Fix Plus. Sorry if I get you. No, yeah. Oh my god, guys. Cody and I just filmed like he did my makeup. He delved into this like heavy handedly went nuts for the dip brow. Like, oh my God, it was so scary. He nearly took the spoolie in the freaking. <laughs> oh my God, it was like legit. I was just like, and don't use that. <laughs> he used the spoolie to do my eye like mascara. 
He wanted to do that. <laughs> you can you can see where he went in there. Oh god, he's scooped it right out. The colors are really really pretty. Like they're really just, I don't know the goldy. Oh colors. yeah, that's gorgeous. It's like a nice shimmery gold color. It's good for layering up too. Like the more you put on, the brighter it gets. Now I'm taking like a slightly darker bronzy color into <laughs> the crease and up a little bit on the outer corner. Do you have the chocolate bath palette? Nope. You smells it. Ooh. It smells delicious. No, I don't have that one. It's got pretty purples in it though, which I like. Yeah, I really love it. It's like my fave palette. Then I'm taking like a real chocolatey color, really dark chocolatey color, and this is going just in the really, really outer, out of crease. I'm gonna use the Brow Drama by Maybelline. This is this transparent one, and this one's like brand new. Well, I just have to blend it all out now. Yeah, that looks really nice. So... Which bronze colors did you use? This, the, the oh, gold. I went this quad, actually. Yeah. Because this is like three quads in one, and I went with the middle one. So I started with that color all over, then I went yeah. with that over the top. This then one, the and then this one. Yeah, that's really nice. And then I sort of smoked it down into the lower lash line yeah. as well. But I just got to blend it all out now, which I'll probably use highlight color. I'm taking MAC Soft Ochre Paint Pot. I'm so tired, like I haven't got any sleep last night. Oh really? I was just excited. <laughs> and I usually go to bed before 12. You're talented. Yeah. Pointing the mirror yeah. with the palette. <laughs> Skills. Yeah. I've got eyelash glue stuck in my eyelash from yesterday. I do that too. It's gross. Yeah. I find it really, really hard to get like a wing shape without using tape. Oh yeah. Not very good at it naturally. It is um, a difficult skill to perfect. It's definitely not easy. I think I did too bad. Now I'm using the chocolate bar palette. I'm gonna take this color here and then I'm just gonna move around and do a few other things. I think I'm done. Oh no. Yeah, that looks oh. nice. Blend out now? Yeah. It'll do. <laughs> It'll do. Meanwhile, I'm only just getting started on my eyeshadow. So let's do this. I am using my e.l.f. eyebrow kit. I always start by brushing them through first. Getting them all lined up. I can't believe like, I never used to do my brows. I know, that was one thing. Like, how embarrassing. Uh, it was the one thing that I didn't do when I was younger. I just didn't think about it. I don't know who Tootie is. <laughs> Rachel's phone's ringing and it says Tootie. She's going to get Cody. I don't know who Tootie is. Is Tootie code word for Cody? If he's not at the here, then he's in the wrong building. I think he got lost. <laughs> I just, I just literally did this. I think I'm in the wrong building. I think oh, you're in the wrong you, building. You just think that now, hey? That's awkward. That's so awkward. That's so awkward. <laughs> let me know if he can come to the next building over and you need to let, be let in, okay? I love it when they like get mad at you and it's, they think it's your fault and then you're like, no, it's your fault. You're in the wrong building. <laughs> I wonder if I'll have a good eyebrow and a bad eyebrow. Probably. Probably. That's how it goes these days, isn't it? Do you have one that's always good and one that's always bad? Oh, look, they change, to be honest. Mm -hmm. Like the other week, my good one today was not being friendly. And this one was my good one, but now it's swapped. My arches are completely drawn on. Like I have no hair up on that like top part. Yeah, well I need to draw an arch on this one. I'm just gonna fill them in with powder now. I've probably gone way too dramatic for like day wear, but oh well. Now I'm gonna stuff up my wings. I'm gonna have to do my wings off camera. Did you actually go to the wrong building? I got screamed at by some random person. <laughs> what did you do? I just went and like banged on TT6. I was like, oi, let, let me in. And then they're like, what the fuck are you doing? Why are you, in, why are you at our house? And I was like, oh, sorry, they told me TT6. I am going to go and do my wings off camera. All right, so my wings suck. I don't want to talk about it because I just had a really bad experience with my wings. But let's finish days. this off. Yes, I'm going to do my mascara now. Oh, I want to use the new mascara, maybe. Yeah, use the new one. I'm going to use a new mascara from Maybelline. This is the Lash Sensational Mascara. I would like to give this a go. And I'm using my CoverGirl Lash Blast. It's not too bad, I actually quite like it. Mm -hmm. It doesn't separate very well though. Like they're kind of sticking together. Oh, looks nice though. Yeah, it's not bad. All right, lashes. I'm using the Ardell 120 Demi Lashes. I'm using the Red Cherry number 82s. Peeling all the crusties off mine. 
Yeah, I do that too, and it like comes off in strings sometimes. What glue do you use? Um, just some lash grip stuff. What yeah. about you? This one from oh, Daiso. I need to get some of that. I've got the black one and it's pretty good. Eyelash fix, it's pretty I good. Have, I've been trying a few other glues and they just don't cut it for me. They don't no. stay on, they don't stick on, in on the inner corner. That's the worst part for lashes to stick, I think. Yeah. Just getting them to that inner corner. Because the eye, the eye curve's funny. Do you find it funny how so many people are like, Are you two sisters? Are you two twins? <laughs> it's literally because their hair colour is similar. I mean, yours is more blonde. But that's like, the... I don't get it. No. <laughs> <laughs> like maybe, and like our eye colour is similar, like we have blue eyes. Yeah. But. <laughs> no, I don't know. It's so funny. Like after we did post it, like after I posted a picture of us two at the meetup thingy that we mm. had earlier this year, people were like, oh my god, are you twins? <laughs> yep. But whenever I finish my makeup, I look back at it and I'm like, I don't have enough blush or contouring. Okay, I'm using the Rimmel Exaggerate Lip Liner in Addiction and then the MAC Hue. I'm using Astralis Lip Liner in, what is this? Tickled Pink and I'm using my MAC Viva Glam number two. My lips are so dry. I've got a lip guy if you want to use it. No, like I don't have any um, like skin coming off them. It's just, mm, they just look dry. I'm going to use the Buxom Full Body Lip Gloss today as well, all the time. Okay, so we are all done and ready for the meetup now. How exciting. I'm so excited. I can't wait. <gasps> but thank you so much for watching. Go and check out Rachel's channel and video down below. And go subscribe to her and tell her that well, we sent you. Yeah, we sent you. <laughs> and thanks so much for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye. Bye. How's it going, bro? It's not funny. <laughs> it's hilarious. She can't do all I want. There's a massive smudge on the bloody camera. Oh, yeah, so we're to go. Okay, so we went to the meetup and 